What is up YouTube? It's been a minute and I, uh, what is up, what is up guys? I just wanted to come on here real quick and uh, just have a little rant about the new firmware Canon's released for the R5 and the R6. Now today I've got the R6 with me. Um, I do own the R5 also, but I've decided to come out with the R6 because most uh, of the content creators on here in my category, we all have the R6 um, purely because you know, it's the it cost a fraction of the price of the R5 and it does pretty much the same and plus there's less overheating issues prior to this firmware with the R6. So rather than coming out here in the R5, I'm on the R6 I'm shooting in, it's like, uh, let me just check the time. It is 10 minutes to 12 in the, in the UK. So it's pretty um, early morning, but the sun is out as you can see. I'm in a field. And I'm here to test out the, um, the new firmware because um, on top of all the bugs that it's meant to have solved, the main thing is it's meant to cut the wobble from using wide angle lenses, um, which is great because it's, it's a beautiful vlogging camera and it's a shame to, um, to have that issue, you know, the serious wobbling. Now I'm, I'm in a built up area, so I don't think you can see much of the wobbling. Um, so I'm gonna try and go walk down this path and get some, um, some background so that you can see if the wobbling. Now on screen, it looks pretty good. It looks damn good. Like it looks like the wobbling has been solved. Um, a little overexposed there, like that's it, that's better. It looks like the wobbling has been taken real good care of in the new firmware and it's great. Now I'm using a Sigma 20 millimeter lens and normally when you vlog, you want to be on a 16 millimeter so you probably get that but I've noticed the wobbling on this 20 millimeter lens before and it's really, really horrible. So I'm hoping as I walk down here, um, I, I can't really tell until I go into the computer, but it looks good on the screen. Um, but you guys can tell me in the comment section down below, what you think about the new, uh, the new firmware on the R6. Um, Canon, if you're watching this, can you please do what you did with the R5? I know the R6 has left of a overheating issue, but it was still nice to have the option of that high, um, allowing the camera to record a little bit longer than normal when instead of shutting down on, on us. I mean, I've not come across any um, overheating issues yet with the R6 because I primarily shoot on the Otomus Ninja because of the recording time limit. Uh, when I'm shooting weddings, I don't want to be fraffing about wondering if my memory cards rang out. I know if I put a Terra SSD in my, um, in my Ninja V, I have more than enough to get me through the evening. So for me, it's never been an issue. Uh, change in here. It's never been an issue, but for others it might be. So Canon, if you can, just put it in the R6 too. Because um, I primarily use the R5 mostly for photography work and use the R6 for video because of the smaller file sizes. And there's, le there's really no much overheating issues with the R6 as, as the R5 does. So it's a better option to go with. Um, again, a little bit over there. Uh, there we go. I'm using zebras at the moment to um, for exposure because I'm so used to using the Otomos Ninja that I'm having to rely on, on zebras now to get the exposure correct. So, no gimbal. Let me just uh, quickly pull my phone out and show you my setup. It's basic, very basic, but my main reason for this video was just to come out here and have a butcher. So that's my setup there. Um, just using the iPhone at the moment. Ooh, can't even talk the sound. So yeah, guys, uh, it was just a quick one. Now I need to get out of this park before, um, let me just show you guys all the, um, the serious pollen that is in this park. Now, <laughs> I don't have my hay fever tablets, but that is gonna kill me if I don't get out of this park. So yeah, guys, um, just thought I'd come out, have a quick rant about the new firmware. Um, I don't know what it looks like until I get back inside and see what it looks like on the computer. But hopefully you guys can drop um, some comment and let me know. What do you think about the wobble a bit? Is it gone? Is it just, I mean, I've, I've read some other um, content 
creators, I'm, I'm sorry, I've viewed a few other content creators' uh, videos and they said it's not completely gone, but it's a lot better than um, it was before. Now, um, if you are an R5 user, there are other, um, there are larger content creators like Peter McCann just put out a video about the bubbles on his R5. And it, it's, it's, it's one of those things that the bigger content creators will always um, vlog on their, the more expensive camera because that's what they use primarily. Um, but for us who are, you know, the smaller ones, <laughs> we tend to, you know, vlog on the, um, the smaller, more cheaper camera, you know? So instead of bringing out my R5, I decided to come out on the R6 so that the, all the R6 users can appreciate. Okay guys, well until next time, I'm gonna go get some uh, late breakfast. Um, I was about to say brunch then, but it's not even lunch yet, but some late breakfast. And then get some editing done, because guess what? It's wedding season and I'm stupid busy. Um, last weekend I, I wrapped up two weddings. I had to send another colleague to another one. Yeah, it's it getting crazy out there, but guess what? I love it, because that's what I signed up for, so why not? So until next one, peace out. One love.